Hello Cancer my darlings and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer it's time for the moon box reading yay. Just take what resonates leave the rest behind you guys. I'm so glad you like the moon box as much as I do Cancer. I love you. Anyway um, thank you to all of my subscribers. Um, welcome to everybody new here you guys. Thank you for all of the comments the confirmations all right so cancer you know the drill right this is going to be loud so cover your ears i'm going to shake up the box here we go oh something fell out already okay okay so you guys know i don't like to look okay <laughs> something stuck on my fingernail what is it okay <laughs> oh my goodness okay something somebody's hanging on to something or they um honestly cancer you know what it looks like to me it looks like this person knows exactly who you are okay they've got um they've got someone here that they need to walk away from but they feel stuck and they don't want to let you go okay they don't want to let you go so right out the gate um again the chariot is coming out in reverse all right this person feels very stuck in something that's already broken or cancer this is just this is like um a deal breaker okay you're not you're going to be moving on and i feel like there's somebody who doesn't want you to move on Okay, they don't want you going anywhere. They want to hang on to your energy, but they are with someone else. They haven't walked away yet. This person could have tried to walk away, but <clears throat> they're still stuck in something else. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're already happy without this person. I just feel like you're, you're leaving something behind here, Cancer. I feel like this is your energy here. You're leaving this person behind and they know it. I feel like you're actually in the chariot in the upright, but they want to reverse that. They don't want you going anywhere, and that's just too bad. Um, you don't feel the same way about this person anymore, and I feel like you're just disgusted. You're tired. This is draining for you. It's it's tiring to have this person like like pulling on your energy. Here's the thing, Cancer. You know this person wants you deep down inside you know they want you man who wouldn't who wouldn't cancer jump back kiss yourself i'm telling you you're fabulous so you know they want you you know they're watching you you know they see you moving on without them i feel like you may be on a glow up here cancer or just feeling really good ready to release okay over this person you know, and I feel like your feelings have changed. You're just, you're disgusted with having to wait. You're I, like, even if you're not waiting, you're disgusted with um, the fact that they still want you and they're not leaving a situation. Okay. You know, it's, it's just, it's constant. It doesn't end. It seems like, you know. So, yeah, you don't feel the same way about them as you used to. The passion is gone for this person. Um, yeah, I'm hearing, I'm all out of love. You know, but this person is lost without you, but you don't feel the same way about them anymore. They're in misery, okay? They're in a miserable situation. They don't want to be in it, but yet they're not walking away. They're choosing to not walk away. The reason why I say that is, yep, and there it is, is these, these little flip-flops here were attached onto this chain, okay? It's like they didn't want to walk away from someone. They do know that they have to, though, in order to get you back, and you're the person that they can't seem to let go of. Like, they don't want you to leave their life. They're watching you really close, or... This person could also be um, monitored by whoever they chose over you. If, if they're with somebody who's monitoring their every move, they're with a karmic. Okay, I feel like Cancer, you're, you're, you don't have your nose in this person's business. You're not watching anybody like a hawk. You're doing your own thing. I feel like you're on a glow up, having a victory. Okay, in order to have this forward movement... 
and feel this free, you had to have put in the work in yourself. Like um, healing, right? And uh, leveling up. I, I just feel like um, you've got a lot going on right now. You've come a really long way. And that means you've been really focused, okay? Focused on your own stuff, all right? Um, maybe creative projects, um, your healing, whatever it is that's making you this happy, Cancer. Because I feel like you're just happy being able to release this person too. You know, you've healed enough to where this release is not painful for you, but this, them still being stuck, them not um, putting forth any, any, effort this person um maybe they're acting a coward and they don't want to stand up for you in this connection okay all of it all of it um all of it is like a, a deal breaker this is something that's broken that can't be fixed okay it's broken and it can't be fixed again broken and can't be fixed right this person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could be a Capricorn. I'm picking up Capricorn energy as well. I feel like too, Cancer, you know what? You've been so quiet during this whole um, difficult cycle with this person, okay? Maybe you're breaking out of your shell now, telling your story. You could be writing a book. I'm seeing somebody writing a book. Um, you could be, I don't know, maybe starting a website or even a YouTube channel to tell your story, okay, to help guide other people. I'm seeing you taking on a leadership role here and putting out information that could help a lot of people, okay? You may have your own platform, um public speaking, spiritual healing, something like that. But I feel like you're, you're, you're speaking up. You're speaking your truth. You're making it known, okay, in, in one way or another. I'm also, I've just heard it could be coming through your art. So you could be an artist doing some painting, just ex self-expression, okay? And it's very... Um, uh, I, it's liberating. It's liberating. You're liberating yourself from this from this whole entire issue. And I feel like your pain is going to be turned into some kind of profit or something that you can build for yourself. Okay, so um, yeah, take that how it resonates as well. And that could be like if you're writing a book of your story of this journey. That's what I'm talking about. Um, you speaking your truth, I feel like you're going to be rewarded for that. Okay, so yeah, whatever this is, you may be just starting a creative project like this. You know, I've even been getting like um, journaling energy. You could have started a journal and you may be compiling that now into a book. That thing's going to be a bestseller. I'm telling you, whatever this is, I feel like it's going to generate a lot of success and abundance for you. Okay. All right. So let's see what this one So This is the one that fell out. You will soon be the center of attention. Yeah, Cancer, something that you're doing here is giving me star energy. Okay. Um, so I feel like, yes, something that you're doing or creating um, is going to bring a lot of success. It's going to put you in the spotlight. This could be you um, getting some kind of fame, fortune, uh, just telling your story or, you know, utilizing your God-given gifts, right? Something. I feel like spirit wants you in the spotlight now, okay? They want you to teach others how you... Um, how you pulled yourself out of a mess or they, you know, like um, a painful situation, right? How you healed, how you cleansed your energy, how you purified yourself. You know, people may want to like want to be led, you know, people want to be they need help with this kind of thing. Maybe you're um, you're going to end up like healing broken hearts or um 
help uh, helping to awaken other people spiritually you know spreading the word whatever it is that you're doing though it's going to become very successful okay and spirit is putting you front and center in the spotlight and this is where you belong and all you have to do cancer is be authentic if you have a creative idea like say you you know like i just did right hmm i should start journaling and then compile that you know what i'm saying if you have a creative idea like that run with it and just be authentic and honest okay and i'm telling you it's going to it's it's just going to take off it's going to become very successful so this is what's in your future cancer being put in the spotlight teaching others a leadership role and it's going to be like um, your own creation you while well, you and the divine are co-creating this or this is something that you've already done and somebody is watching you watching you work watching you succeed because you are being watched very close okay so this may already be happening for you cancer all the success and happiness and a creative project you could already be in the spotlight and somebody is watching you so you could have um, an internet platform somewhere on the internet where this person is able to see you they may be they may be completely like amazed by your success right now rest easy in your new home and cancer yeah you could be moving upgrading this is this is being leveled up okay reaching a whole new level this is a maybe an upgraded home or you could have recently purchased a new home congratulations or this is what's in your future or you could be um you could have your own business right off working from a creative idea in your in your home so you could have your own um in-home business online business something like that it just feels like um a very like kind of like i mean you're definitely going to have to put in the effort but it feels very relaxed okay so I feel like this is just you creating something passionately because it's, it's almost like you make it look easy. And, and believe me, this person from your past, they are watching you. Yeah, they're tracking your activity or somebody's watching them. I feel like you're the one being monitored here. I feel like there could be a karmic watching you and this masculine watching you. Tracking what you're doing, okay? Trying to find out what your ideas are. Keep your ideas to yourself until you launch them, Cancer, okay? Yeah, somebody wants to call you today or somebody um, is going to call you today or already has. So they're definitely thinking about you this weekend. Watching what you're doing. If, if I just got for some of you you're taking some time for yourself this weekend and if this person normally sees you online they're like waiting for you now okay maybe you've taken a couple of days away from the computer or from an online business and this person is like where are you they're kind of stressing out I, I feel like they're addicted to you cancer that's what I feel like they, they can't get you off of their mind. They don't want you moving on. When you don't show up on the internet or on social media or whatever it is that you're doing, um, whatever you're posting out there, this, it makes this person flip out a little bit. They start getting concerned. They start overthinking things. They start coming up with these scenarios in their head like you're spending time with someone else. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? you're out living your life okay but um yeah it stresses them out when they don't see you um this is how much they watch you it's like every day okay this person's obsessed but you're shining cancer i'm telling you you're on a glow up and it's your time to shine spirit wants you in the spotlight 
okay spirit wants you um successful for pretty much for everyone to see and i feel like spirit's gonna guide the people to you that need the messages from you okay that's how it happens all right building something solid for yourself cancer okay this is um comfort this is comfort this is stability this is family it feels like you're building like generational wealth or um like whatever it is that you're doing it's going to um it's going to change your life and the life of your children and your children's children like this is going to create a change for generations to come well it's because you've broken generational curses so yeah i feel like your ancestors were just waiting for you to do this was to break generational curses you know, you could have already started this project, right? And maybe one of those curses was conquering a fear or conquering like a self-esteem issue, a confidence issue, you know, and now you're, um, you're telling your story, you're, um, you're walking in confidence, you're um, speaking your truth, and that's breaking the curses, ancestral curses. So I feel like now and for generations to come, Cancer, because you broke these curses, um, you, from now, from this point on and for generations to come, there's going to be success and, and comfort, okay? And stability. Yeah, whatever it is that you're doing, it is a huge accomplishment, okay? Not only are you extremely successful or you're going to be, you're going to be in the spotlight. Like, yeah, I'm hearing fame, I'm going to live forever, right? <laughs> Baby, remember my name, remember, remember, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... You're headed towards some kind of fame or spotlight. People are going to remember you for whatever it is that you're doing here. People are going to be talking about you for generations to come. Okay, I don't know what it is that you're doing. I'm feeling like it's something spiritual. Okay, right now we're in this time, Cancer, where people are still waking up. There's a lot of people out there that haven't quite woken up yet. They haven't quite, um, you know, they're not shaking these traditional 3D ways. But I feel like that change is happening. Whether people like it or not, it's happening. And Cancer, you're, we've talked about this before. You're on the forefront of this change here on the 3D. You're a warrior for the divine. And when that change happens, everyone around the world is going to have an enlightenment it's going to bring in a new world okay and people are going to be talking about whatever it is that you're doing in years to come okay i'm telling you spirit it, you will be remembered your your name will be remembered for generations to come for whatever this is that you're building or that you're about to create. You know, I keep picking up to on somebody who's either journaling or writing a book, you guys. Now they're showing me, and I've picked up on this before, the movie Lady in the Water. It's like my favorite movie, okay? It's my favorite movie. Lady in the Water. Um... In that movie, there's a person that is writing a, a book that is supposed to, um, it's supposed to enlighten and inspire other people to see things in a different way. And he names it the cookbook. And he, he's like, he says in the movie, I don't think, I mean, nobody's going to really be interested in what I have to say anyway. You know what I mean? Um, but in the future, years to come, that book is going to create a massive change. It's kind of like this, uh, Cancer, whatever it is that you're working on, 
whatever project or idea this is, it is supposed to create a massive change. A change that only, like, there's going to be maybe thousands and millions possibly of people that are going to be learning something from you, okay? Um, and and that knowledge is going to spread. It's going to help to change, and it's going to help to create a big change. But people are going to be talking about those who brought about this change for years to come, generations to come. So you're whatever this is that you're doing. I'm telling you, spirits putting in the spot, putting you in the spotlight. Um, it's your time to shine. This is you on a glow up. Um, I'm here in fame again. Thank you, Spirit. Um, so you're going to be famous someday. Yes, and that's a confirmation, you guys. Yes, thank you, Spirit. You're going to be famous someday, Cancer. And this is generational. Generational comfort, security. Okay? I'm telling you, people will be talking about what you're doing years to come from now okay so whatever this is it's really important all right okay yeah the path to smarter and cancer you're gonna once you get on the right path if you haven't already started this right i feel like you have you're really on a glow up already um you're gonna start seeing that the way you work is going to is going to be much easier than ever before because you're building something out of passion out of um hidden wisdom spiritual knowledge okay maybe even using your intuition it's it's um it's going to be work that you're doing for god you're going to be compensated well for it you're going to get a lot of recognition you're going to get some fame and stardom, and it's going to be um, different work than kind of what you've done before. It's going to seem much easier because this is, this is like your niche here. This is something that spirit wants you to create. It's just for you. So um, it's going to be like unlike anything else, or it's going to be like you're just going to be authentic with it, okay? And you're going to get a lot of recognition for what it is that you're doing. I'm telling you, enchanted ever after. Yes, Cancer, I am telling you, for years to come, for years to come, you're going to be remembered and your name is going to be talked about for the changes that you're creating for many, many people right now. Okay, I can't stress it enough. It's like beyond fame, beyond stardom, it's like becoming like a, an icon or you're going to be remembered, okay, for what it is that you're doing. And I feel like spirit has you protected. This is why you're so protected. It's because you're so important. Okay? You're special to the divine. Um, you're precious to the divine. So just know you're extremely protected. And here's another thing spirit knows, too, with your knowledge and whatever it is that you're creating, you're also going to get haters who are going to want to, like, crucify you on your path. Okay? Um, and spirit wants you to know that they've got your back. Okay? You're protected and your ancestors are protecting you because they want you to forge on and continue to have a victory. All right? Let's see what this is. Compliment magnets. Yeah. Um, you're, you may notice already that you're getting a lot of compliments from other people. I've been noticing that too. People talking about my hair and <laughs> calling me beautiful and yeah, it's um, it's a lot. But I, this is this is that recognition, right? That I was talking about. People are going to recognize you. People are going to be 
Man, I'm telling you, I'm seeing somebody asking somebody for their autograph. Um, so that may happen for you, Cancer, in the future. Somebody asking you for your autograph. You know, it's that fame. I'm going to live forever. Yeah. People are going to remember you. I just see you becoming some kind of star here. And I feel like it has everything to do with your, your knowledge, your story, and your creativity, okay, and your authenticity. Travel back in time. I kind of get the sense that this is this person's energy, okay. Um, I just feel like they, they wish they could change everything around. You know, we kind of forgot about this person for a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, they're still watching you, okay? And they're like, boy, if I could travel back in time, I would have made a completely different decision. I would have never left cancer behind. This is somebody who's in a lot of regret. Yeah, in a, in a lot of conflict here because they want you really bad. They want to come back in, but yet they... They're hesitant to leave somebody. I feel like this person could leave if they wanted to. I don't feel like they're actually stuck. I have to say it. I don't feel like they're actually stuck. I feel like this person is afraid. Afraid to make a decision. Afraid to confront someone. Okay. Um, they're, they're acting like a coward is what it is. And they're having a very difficult time dealing with you moving on. They're watching you on this glow up. They completely realize that they made a foolish decision. They don't want to be where they are anymore, but this person is a grown adult. They can get themselves out of it. I don't think they're stuck. I'm not feeling that they're stuck. I'm feeling they could walk right out of there if they wanted to. I feel like this person's scared. And that's on them. You've, you've had to be courageous and strong. Now it's their turn. Now they have to do something here courageous and strong and they don't want to. So they're suffering with that. Yeah, strongest. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, thank you, Spirit. What did I say? You're the strongest link here, Cancer. You're stronger than this person is. Okay, there may be something, too, about, about your strength that intimidates this person. Like, they're scared. They're kind of scared of everything. This person's like a scared little bunny. You know, um, they're, they're afraid to leave somebody behind that they don't really want anymore. They're afraid to approach you. They're afraid to make a decision. They're afraid, you know, they're afraid to look at themselves in the mirror. They're afraid that you're moving on. This person is afraid of, like, everything. That's what's keeping them in that situation. They need to, they need to grow a backbone. And that's on them. Cancer, right now, you're, you need to stick with this main focus here. Whatever this project is, whatever you've been working on, or whatever you're being led to nurture. Okay? Um, that's what your focus should be. Because I'm telling you, this is your destiny. This is a mission for you. And it's, it's one that's extremely important because your name... Your name is going to be like written in the books, Cancer. I don't know. It's almost like people are going to remember you for, for years, for generations to come, for whatever this is that you're doing. Okay? Get the look. Super sleek. And Cancer, when I see sleek, I kind of get the sense that you are an enigma. Okay, you're, um, you're hard to find, you're hard to attain. Um, sorry about that, Cancer. Yeah, you're elusive, okay? You're elusive. So I feel like um, it's, it's maybe hard to find you, hard to reach you, okay? I feel like Spirit wants it that way. They're trying to protect you. So, yeah, you're, um, 
like you may be in the spotlight, but this person can never actually spot you out in public. It's something like that. You're, um, you're hard to attain. Okay, something. Very elusive, mysterious energy. Also, I'm getting extremely psychic off of that. Yeah. Guarantee completion. Yeah, Cancer, I feel like that's what spirit wants. Spirit wants this cycle completed so that you can move on. They want you to focus on this, on your path, on this um, project, whatever this is. Focus on that, okay? Concealer. Give me one more on concealer. I don't feel like that's your energy. Vacation. Yeah, Cancer, I just, I feel like um, either spirit is like maybe trying to keep you well hidden or um, out of like contact, okay? Or they're, this person over here, I'm really feeling like this may be theirs, um, their energy. They're keeping it hidden how they feel about you, okay? You could be taking a vacation soon or you could be on a vacation this weekend. Um, congratulations. I do see a, a vacation in your future, Cancer. Yeah, I feel like Spirit wants you to replenish, okay? Replenish your energy, get your rest in. You may be being called to take a vacation. My daughter was just talking about that. She's like, Mom, I really feel like traveling. I'm like, me too. <laughs> right? So we're talking about the places that we want to go. And her and I are planning a vacation together to Vegas too. So if I go out there, do you guys want me to let you know? <laughs> Because it would be cool to like hang out and shop with you all day or something, you know? Um, yeah, drop a comment if you want me to let you know if I go to Vegas. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, and believe me, I'm staying at the Caesars Palace. There's no other choice. But um, yeah, anyway, um, you could be taking a vacation soon. They want you to focus on your wellness right now rejuvenation right replenishing your energy make sure you drink plenty of water eat some good food right um, get outside clear your head they want you to clear your mind get grounded get stable kind of feels like another purification process where you're purging out any old memories of the past okay <laughs> or any um, baggage that you have from the past right because this in this new cycle here with what spirit has you starting or creating it's about to get busy it's about to change your life okay there's going to be huge changes happening here and spirit wants you to kind of just sink into it okay put your passion into it right grow it nurture it i'm telling you um whatever project this is cancer People are going to be remembering your name for generations to come. This is fame. And Spirit's taking you there. They're leading you there. All right? So listen, right? Listen to what Spirit wants you to do. And this is a cycle that's completing with this past person. Um, they, they're not strong enough. They're not, they're not as strong as you, and they're not strong enough um to come forward and i feel like i just feel like the wheel is turning here like it's, it's the universe wants some forward movement for you and it all kind of starts now okay anyway my darlings that's what i've got for this reading i do hope this helps i hope it resonates and um if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe to my channel join this awesome soul tribe and until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.